I am back with another video so I thought I would do a video that I never did before on my channel and that is a what's on my phone video so um, I, I had been wanting to do this video for a long time but I couldn't do it I don't know why but here I am finally gonna do it so I'm super excited I'm gonna be showing you what apps on my phone I have and some apps you guys might you know have fun using or might be really helpful Anyway, without further ado, let's get right started. Um, I'm gonna exclude the apps that most people have like messages and calls, obviously. So I'm gonna start on the first app that I have. It's called Weverse, and I'll put the logo like up here. And Weverse is like, if you're a BTS ARMY, I'm ARMY, so I use this app. It's like an app. <laughs> if not a K-pop fan, then you don't need to have this, but it's like an app where you can communicate with the idols, you know? There's Girlfriend, BTS, Seventeen, and TXT, I think, on there, and I'm um, logged in as in the BTS um, Weverse, so you can basically like... <laughs> ask them questions or like say simple things or just leave like chats then they'll probably they might reply to you they might not i haven't gotten a reply yet i've been logged on for like three months but i haven't really posted much you can post pictures you can post you can't post videos i think you can post like just writings and have other armies too and get to know them and they're always like um they always update you about the app not the app but they always update about if there's a new, new concert or if there are new tickets for you know a fan meeting or if there's like anything you need to know about bts like the notifications they give you the notifications on the app so there's no need to like worry about missing any things or notifications about bts so yeah basically if you're army watching this and if you don't have this app yet you need to get this app this is like one of the best apps ever so yeah second is also an app that probably most k-pop fans have it's called vlive logo up here and VLive is like also like an app. It's like a broadcasting app and it's like a South Korean live video streaming app that allows celebrities like in the country to like broadcast live live videos on the internet and also chat live on the internet with fans. So you can their streaming is available and like most devices and yeah, and a lot of people use it and you can like like go on live. There's like a the, your favorite celebrities go live on VLive. There's also a notification. You can go join their live. You can chat. You can just watch their like show on live, like live, not like just like after live is over on live. So yeah, I was um, using VLive for a while now, and it's like great. You don't you don't get to miss out on one of your like of celebrities like videos. Like if they have a reality show or like if you have any con like videos about anything like vlive has it so if you are also a k-pop fan and you don't have that yet you should totally download vlive and by the way guys this video is not sponsored by anything i'm just showing you guys what's on my phone and what apps i use and just like a short guide to like if it's helpful okay now for some real talk another app that i have is called life 360 and this is like an app where you can it's a family um, social networking app and it's basically, uh, it provides location-based services. Like if you wanna see where your parents are, if you wanna see, I think this works with friends, but I don't know, I use it with my family. You can see where they are. And, or if you're wondering, oh my gosh, where's mom? Or like, where's dad? And when's, or when are they coming home? You can go on this app and it shows you like, it's like a tracking device for safety, but also for like, you know, parents wanna be safe with their child. They wanna know where they are. This app is really helpful too. And I sometimes use it on the app and it shows like how long, how far they're from home, how many minutes accurately it will take for them to come home and exactly where they are. So I think it's also good for children and parents for safety problems. I also have an app called How Much Do You Use? It's actually a Korean app, but it shows like how many hours you've been on your phone. And it shows, you can, you can, you can like go in, inside the app and like limit like the amounts you want to use for each app. So today I used two hours and about 30 minutes. I know that's a lot, but sorry. And as you can see, YouTube is my, I log my YouTube app for one hour. If I use more than one hour, it gets automatically logged. I cannot use it anymore. It really helps me like decrease my phone timing. I used to do like six hours, but now I'm like two hours. I mean, that's like, that's good. So it shows you how much time you use for each app. You can go inside and lock your phone. So I have, if I use two hours a day, it gets automatically locked for four hours. 
so yeah if you're a student or if you're just adult or anybody who wants to like limit their phone and just like i have to stop watching my phone i've been on my phone way too much you can limit by this app limit your phone time and this totally help you decrease your phone time and also there's like a graph that comes out every day that shows how much you used how much more you used than yesterday how much less you know how many times you you know watch that or clicked on the app and it shows you like the rates really helpful next app that i have is mobizen and this is a screen recorder i sometimes use it for my videos when i need to rec record something i record my screen and then i edit it and post it sometimes i really use it well i tried to record it but it kind of lagged on my phone so i downloaded mobizen and i'm using it very well and if you are like if you're doing a channel or any site about like fan channels, you know, like if you're like making fan accounts, then you can totally download this app. You can really record, you know, the videos that you want to want to make for your fan video, and it will record. And you can easily edit it too on your editing apps. So yeah. Sorry if this video is getting kind of long. I think I have a lot of apps on my phone. So anyway, the next app is called InShot. I sometimes edit my videos with this app on my PC or my phone. And it's really easy. You can tap, you can put in everything. There's a lot of really good uses. It's one of the best I've ever had. KineMaster didn't work on my phone. Other like VLLO apps I used to use, like the quality wasn't that good, but this app, once I changed it, like it's super good. I actually edit my videos with this app. So if you're wondering, what does she edit her videos with? I edit it with InShot. So yeah, that was a bit of piece of TMI too. The app I have is Collage Maker logo always up here. Collage Maker is basically app where you can put in together a lot of pictures and make a collage. Like if you just want to edit a picture, it's fine. But if you want to have like like six or eight pictures into one shot, I use this also for my thumbnails. So another piece of TMI. <laughs> I have three apps left, but two of them is like most people use it, so I won't like really like just detail it and say, but I use a band. You know, it's like a community service we can like sometimes I use it because of my online classes these days, and most people probably have band. I also have an app called Zoom that a lot of people use, like Zoom, you know, internet, you know, you can communicate with people and most people probably use it during because it's quarantine we do schools online online classes we also take them there and yeah last app is actually called class card i didn't like wanted to install this but our english teacher made us it's like an app where you can you know make your own card sets and you can also it's similar to quizlet but it's like in a classroom so your teacher like like uploads like vocabulary cards every day you can take a test on them do your reading spelling and check all of them and yeah, it just depends on how your teacher wants to Um, long, I guess, um, what's on my phone video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun for me showing you what apps I have. I hope you guys, you know, had fun watching. And make sure to subscribe for more videos. And you guys want to mind to check out some apps that I told you in this video if you guys haven't downloaded it in your phone yet. Again, this video is not sponsored. Yeah. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay safe during this pandemic. You know, social distancing, wear masks, stay inside. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay positive, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.